about 20 years ago people would say <coughs> stop talking about Kennedy it's over it's done let it go and people you know they listen to it okay it's done it's over let it go whoever is behind it doesn't matter it's done and now uh, people are saying the same things when I talk about 9-11 which I really don't do a lot but uh, you know every once in a while I see some research that just blows my mind away because just when you think you know everything uh, you realize just um, you know how deep the rabbit hole goes and at those moments you uh, you know you realize how thick the machinery is of people who are being paid to throw out false theories and h the worst part is of course how much attention people pay to it so it doesn't matter if it's Jesse Ventura or Alex Jones or any of these people that are being paid to put on a show for you um, you know the fact is that these people are who the people in the world are paying attention to and when I look at somebody like Phil Jane from Let's Roam forums for example you know nobody pays attention because people want to see a dream they want to get a little bit truth mixed in like Charlie Sheen will give you and then a lot of entertainment that's what people always want they want 80% entertainment 20% something that makes them think they have another beer then the thinking's over and the next day begins in the morning anyways uh, should people talk about 9-11 still you know the <sighs> there isn't much that you can do if people choose to watch television there is really absolutely nothing that you can do the only thing that I can see you do is disconnect yourself from people who repeat what they see on television you know it's it's important to have some entertainment in life but it's it's you know can you handle it can you really handle the you know, a lot of my friends, you know, at the beginning said, go Charlie, Charlie Sheen, yeah, bam, bam, bam. And now they realize, you know, he is just a part of the network too. You know, I mean, that's how it, that's how I see it. You know, I could be wrong, but I'm very, very sure about it. And especially when you look at the uh, William Rodriguez, when the, the people, they're all in the same network together. You know, they, if you don't get it, then just go your merry way but you know I'm done babysitting people the thing is that the TV just like any business makes a living by telling you what you want to hear they you know just like customer service in any kind of business the TV makes you feel good you know that's the job and for me for example you know I, I I'm, I'm done with it I'm done with making people feel good about whatever I tell them because I believe in what I tell them and you know it's really a choice you know I'm not gonna babysit you I'm not gonna tell you what you should do no you need to look at evidence yourself if you want to and other than that I'm just gonna keep making my videos I'm gonna write on firetown.com and I'm gonna share whatever it is I know so having said this guys uh, you know don't hate the media be the media be the media because you can do a lot yourself now you know <coughs> I don't like how some radio shows don't provide a lot of substance other than attacking the shills that's what I don't like because the challenge for us should be to do better to keep providing information so you know when you see my blog post or when, when, when I do something good you know uh, don't don't copy what I do do something I'm not covering you know just stay busy find out information share the information take what you get from me use it for yourself pass it on and then bring back something if you find it I mean <coughs> unless we all together go ahead and uh, create our own network where we don't have a need anymore but I mean you know in the eyes of people guys like Charlie Sheen are just so huge because you know, not only does he make like 1.8 million an episode something like that you know people in America are so conditioned to have their self-worth depend on how much money they have 
and that's one thing I have always wondered. You know, and in Europe, it's 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 not as extreme. You know, people can be friends with each other, and and money is always yeah. We, we all need money, but in America, the system <coughs> is so divided financially that a lot of people who are very intelligent and very truthful, and very honest, uh, you know, they have a horribly low self-esteem because they live somewhere where you know the sun don't shine, and basically. That is the kind of mindset that uh, if you don't overcome it on your own, you're just going to be a baby and always going to be impressed by, you know, Hollywood celebrities. Or you're going to be afraid each time you see a cop <coughs> because you figure you don't have any legal power. You don't have any financial power. This guy can do to you whatever he wants. What you going to do? You know, and now I'm looking at fake people like William Rodriguez and, uh, you know, that guy's, you know, I mean, they're going to do damage control on him. I can guarantee you that. They're going to get rid of him because uh, he screwed up. And if they don't get rid of him somehow, everybody else is going to fall with him. All the people who associated themselves with him, you know. So what should you do? I have no idea. Do something. Peace out.